And so what we hope will happen is as we play this music, which starts very quietly and gets louder, you'll be able to feel the sounds and these sound waves through the building. The children that attend this school so this live across Sheffield horses, and come in on public transport that, services so into our integrated resource so they can access our specialist provision. We've got 16 now, IR children at the moment that are deaf or hearing impaired. They have both hearing aids and cochlear implants. This sort of session is really important for their self-esteem and confidence and their relationship building as well. One of the things that we thought was important to communicate with these kids is that music and sound are waves and waves can be felt so we had them blow up some balloons and hold them quite close to the quartet while we play so they can actually feel the music that 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 are the music that's happening i think hearing impaired children or anyone that's hearing impaired um, actually gets string quartet quite intuitively because string quartet's all about communication between four people and there's a lot of theatre in string quartet. We taught them a, a version of sound painting, which is where a conductor can communicate these parameters of uh, music making in the moment. So it is a form of sign language, basically. So obviously these kids just got it straight away. The composer and neuroscientist, Cliff Kerr, came in and he showed us firstly a spectrograph of the music that we were creating. Then he also used uh, the EEG headsets, which we're using for a new commission, on some of the children. So we actually took their brain waves, created some graphs out of their brain waves, and then we used those graphs to create parameters of music that we then kind of improvised too, so therefore we were basically playing their brain waves, which was kind of a neat idea. Kind of like the science and being able to play with balloons, because that was really fun. I quite enjoyed the feeling the vibration on the balloon and making the music up with the dots and the lines, that was fun. Learning about kind of sound waves and stuff was really kind of exciting. I don't usually get to work with anyone else in the other years, so it was quite fun. With the mindset thing, it was funny because mine always went really high. That was quite exciting and quite cool. I like making music today. It was fun and it was exciting. Music's really important to our students. It's been nice for them to understand a bit of the science behind it, as well as have fun with music, really. To have a quartet, a real-life quartet, working with the children is fantastic. A lot of our students don't actually do music in the mainstream in, within school, but they still value music and they still get quite a lot out of it on a personal level. A lot of the music that we play, the composers have kind of made up the rules for themselves. So that's quite an inspiring thing, I think, for any young composers, in fact, any composers in general. So that's, we bring that attitude to the workshops and then you kind of just see what happens really. And normally amazing things happen. To see the range of responses within the students and they, some of them were getting so much out of it. I mean, we see them on a daily basis and seeing how they're responding in a session like this. And I enjoy being drum, music, mix, made their own music. They love writing it. Yeah? Um, it was fun. We're kind of doing a little exchange of ideas because we're not really teaching as such. We're interacting with the kids and um, creating something together. And that's what's really exciting. Actually, we learn a lot from them. There's more of a sort of a working together environment and the sort of collaboration with groups that they wouldn't normally be with, which is, is, is a good opportunity. It's been amazing.
the last piece was really, really slow. And then it got really loud and fast. But it was also calming as well. And I thought it was really beautiful.